honestly, like, I don't really recall how the conversation came up between Dave and I. I don't remember who started it. I don't remember, like, what we were doing that this came up in conversation. Although I remember we were in youth group together and then we had talked, we talked like lots of different things, even spiritual things sometimes. And I don't know, maybe we just, I think we just like, we, we were very, very close back then. We would just tell each other everything. We were like best friends. I mean, that's how we met. We met through church. We did a lot of stuff together and, and like mentally we're very similar people. We were good friends from fourth grade through through um, graduation at you know, high school. And then when this occurred was right after graduation. In May of 1995, I was 17, about to be 18. Dave and I, we both went to Northminster Church and we were very good friends for a long time through there. And Dave went to Sault Ste. Marie Michigan on a work tour that I was supposed to go on, but did not go on because my dad uh, was battling cancer at the time and had cancer surgery. And so yeah. I stayed home. The, the day that Dave was coming back that night, I had this dream, you know, just kind of a, a weird sort of dream. So we were having a, a party at my house. I don't remember the occasion where we were talking, but we just started talking and like, just like, hey, I had this weird dream the other night. Yeah, I was at your house. We're at we're at a party at your house. Well, of course, Jason was there. He's like the, the party guy. So him and I were like, like, where the hell's Kurt? I was aware that there were people downstairs, and you know how you, you that happens in dreams. You're aware that there are people other places, but not necessarily where you are. And I was upstairs in my parents' house. I was sitting in my dad's lounge chair. Where the hell's Kurt? So let's like, let's go upstairs. And I just remember coming up to your bedroom, knocking on the door and say, hey, Kurt, what's going on? He just said, hold on. I was sitting in my dad's lounge chair, getting a blow job from this girl. And uh, Dave came up with another person that I, I did not know who it was. I opened the door. I just see the back of a female head, you know, going down on it. That's kind of where the, the dream ended. I woke up like, what kind of dream am I having right now? <laughs> <laughs> Dave came up and he was like, hey man, are you coming down to the party? You're like, what's going on? What are you doing? And I was like, come on, Christy, why don't you hurry up so we can leave? As far as I can remember, uh, that's where the dream ends for me. I don't remember the occasion where we were talking, but we just started talking and like, we just like said, yeah, I had this weird dream the other night. And, and then Kurt's like, yeah, I did too. You were with this other guy, but I didn't see who the guy was. And Dave was like, oh, that was Jason. And he was like, I didn't see who the girl was. And I said, oh, it's Christy. We shared our version of the dream and it's like, why yeah, did we have really the bizarre. same dream? <laughs> and not only just the same dream, that dream. And on the same night. I have mentioned it to a few other people and every time I think there's no way this actually happened, but that it dream. actually happened. It was just such a weird feeling. It was just like, you're not just saying this because I said that. Yeah, I, I was, think that's exactly, that's exactly, and, and, and that's been my like feeling for 27 years. <laughs>